Apfel Dr. Germany, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello and welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. On this beautiful Monday, it's really cold outside and um, I'm here early in the morning. Andy is here early in the morning too because he has a date with a technician later at his house. So he has to, to move for about an hour. So he's a little bit earlier here, uh, uh, here at the company. Um, we start today in the morning with an iPhone, what's that, iPhone 7 and um, the customer mails it in for data recovery because it just doesn't uh, do anything at all anymore. Let's see what we have here. If we plug it to the USB charger, USB amp meter, we see we have about 300 milliamps of current flow and we see nothing on the screen. Okay. What about if we open the, de uh, the device? Just need to get my tools out here. <coughs> so, and we open the device. Okay. I think it wasn't open before because the clue is really, really hard. That's okay. And now we just open the screws of the shield, which goes over the LCD and home button flex and battery and a lot of other stuff. And then we just have a look what DC power supply tells us if we hook it up to that. So we need a FPC here. Okay, and we got a short at about 800 milliamps. Could be backlight or could be VDD boost in my experience. So only when I, when I, if I read the, the power supply, the value at power supply, I would say it's a short in some of these areas, okay? I don't have much history. They wrote um, on charging, it was getting hot and then nothing, nothing worked anymore at all. So let's just check for TriStar issue. Okay. Okay. Oh, so if the port is not connected, we will get a TriStar error and if we connect the port okay all is fine so tries us good um, that's the thing on the ICC always have a look that the port is connected because if the port is not connected you will get a red LED so you need to have a good port and the port has to be connected otherwise the machine can't get any data and no value comes back and if you know value comes back for the eight lines which are um, going th uh, to the TriStar IC it will say hey you got an error at TriStar okay Just get out all the screws, get out the SIM tray. Andy, what are you repairing at the, at the moment? Data rescue job. <laughs> huh? EMMC. Oh no, EMMC data rescue, I don't like it. Okay, we take our thermal imager, Seek Pro. Now we just need our power supply and we can check by the thermal cam where the problem is. And it looks like 
VDD boost, like I said before, okay? So I peel off the sticker on the top, on the top back side, then we go under the microscope cam, and it's really nice to see that we got a shorted cap next beside to the big power IC, you see that? The MOSFET is getting hot too, that's like the Q on VCC main. But the problem is this shorted cap next beside to the big power IC. In that case, I don't like, I don't like to, I don't like to replace this cap. Because it's, it's next beside to the power IC and we have enough of them caps on VDD boost. It's just for stabilization. So I want to get it out and not replace it because I don't want to risk any heat damage at the big power IC. That's not, uh, that's not a bad work if you do that. It's just really nice and clean work to do it like that. The other possibility would be to use a short killer, but I don't like to use the short killer. That's uh, not my way of repair. And you see that that big cap here next beside to the big power I see is shorted. And because of that, the device just turn on anymore. So I want to use a small airflow and small temperature for doing that. A little bit of hot air and a knife and just get out this cap. Okay, we got it out. Just clean a little bit here. And it's really no problem to, to, to do that in that way because we are next to the big power I see. So I just cover the cover the old pad. Wait a short time. And it's done. Okay? The last video on, was it on Saturday or on Friday? On Saturday, I think. It was on Saturday <coughs> and it was a button board swap on an iPhone X about one and a half hour. So this video was much longer than that now. But sometimes we have short videos. I, I, I always say that I don't know what is coming before I start the video. I just take a box and I just start by repairing the issue. So sometimes we got basic repairs, sometimes we got, got advanced repairs, sometimes we got master jobs. It's always related to the problem I see on the table. So, and now the short has been gone. And if we try to boot, what's happening then? Boom, back to life again. iPhone 7, just a little short on VDD boost and the device just doesn't turn on 
anymore at all. We just took out the cap because it's placed next beside to the big power IC. I don't want to use too much heat there and risk um, cold solder under the big power IC or cold solder under the CPU. So I just used a small amount and small temperature um, to just loose the cap, get it out and I just covered um, the old pads so it will come. That's just a normal boot um, on the new iOS. On booting one time the Apple goes away and then it comes again. So sometimes we had uh, at start of this we had sometimes problems with our hearts. <laughs> no. And you see it's fully working and the customer got all the important data. Not a big job, just a basic job. I hope you like the video anyway. If you want to learn things like that, you can easily do that at the Border Lab Repair School Germany. If you are working at the smartphone or tablet repair industry, you can join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. But please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. We are about 1,300 or 1,400 members now and it's getting bigger and bigger. So it would be nice if you would join. Okay, I'm out. We see you with the next video. Boom! Back to life again. Yours, Ben.